My friends feel like it's their appointed duty They keep trying to tell me All you want to do is use me Oh, but my answer You already use me stuff. I, I, I said I wanna spread the news that if it feels this good getting used, oh, you just keep on using me until you use me up. Hi, I'm Vasco, and today I'll show you how I'm playing Use Me. On a low G string ukulele, I already did a tutorial for high G, but yesterday I grabbed the low G and I was like, oh, this sounds actually pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, it will be one full step down than the original. So if you want to play along with the original, you can put a capo on the second fret and play with the low G string that I'm about to show you. Or you can check out my other tutorial, which is for high G in the original key. But anyway, grab your low Gs for this one and let's see how to play Use Me by B Withers. Okay, so throughout the song we have just two chords, D minor and G7, but actually this is one variation of the chord that I'm grabbing at one particular place in the song, but throughout most of the time I'm grabbing it like this, which is kind of something like G9 over B, I don't know, it, it sounds good. It's a little bit of a stretch, but I think it spices things up quite a bit. And the strumming pattern has a lot of muted strums in it. Uh, so basically, I'm resting my left hand on the strings without pressing throughout most of the strums, right? And I'm doing constant down, up, down, up, down, up. But on some strums, I'm accenting a little bit more. And we start with three strums, down, up, down. And then muted down, up and sounded down, up. And then we're playing the up strums. Right? Something like this. And on this one we have more muted strums. Don't focus so much on the strumming pattern to make it exactly as I am explaining here. Actually, B. Withers on lives, he's not doing it the same every time. So just feel free to do it. I think that the most important thing is on the second part of the strumming pattern to accent a little bit more on the up strums, right? On the off beats. My friends feel like I is the point that you think. What? They keep trying to tell me. All you want to do is use me. All right, but now let's add the little riff uh, that I think sounds pretty cool on the low G. So let me come a little bit closer. Okay, so we start with a D minor, but actually we're opening the C string and then hammer on. Then E string, C string, E, C, E, C. Pulling down with the ring finger and then grabbing the second chord. Here, the low B. Okay, and then C string.
and sometimes right something like this it has a few more tones there also they're not playing it the same every time so don't be so exact on it but it's something like this So yes, throughout most of the song, you're just going between this D minor to G9 over B or G7, whatever. But when we go to the bridge, oh, I wanna spread the news. You just play D minor once and then you can tap, you can do muted strums. Right here, the idea is that the vocal goes a little bit, uh, you know, more noticeable. Oh, I wanna spread the news that if it feels this good getting used, oh, you just keep on using me. And here, usually in the song, they keep strumming like this. I mean, it's muted strums, but I like to add G7 here. Until you use me up, right? Just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, quiet. Until you use me up. I mean, when I'm performing it alone, I think it's uh, kind of making the song a little bit more dynamic and more interesting because it's a different thing when playing with the band than when you're playing alone with one uke. So I think that this way it sounds good to me i don't know let me know how it sounds to you but yes this is my tutorial for use me by bill withers for the low g right uh thank you very much for watching it will be helpful if you have the printable in front of you that way you'll learn it faster you can get it in the link in the description that way also you're supporting the channel thank you very much for everything and i hope to see you on the next one goodbye